today we will be fixing up an Echeveria topsy-turvy. Um, I found it at my local nursery for $5.99, I believe. First, I wanted to obviously, let's get it out of here, um, and really see what we're working with. I know that I want to trim down the stem um, because it is a little bit long and I want to take off some of those babies down there at the bottom. So let's get out of the soil as much as possible see really how much we have going on here. So I'll be doing a little bit of chopping and cropping today. But I do definitely want to replant the stem because it has all this growth on it already. So there's no reason to think it wouldn't continue to do the same. So yeah, I'm planting all of it. It's kind of a mess. All right, so it's most, mostly down to the roots here. All right, so I know just these few ones hanging off have got to go. So I'm gonna try to cut them probably as low as I can get them here. First. Trim some of the leaves off that. So that's out of the way when I take off the other ones. Our third one. And these ones were definitely reaching out for the sun. You can see that they're pretty stretched because they were hidden under the mama here. Okay, so we got three good ones to replant already. And I might just pop off this little baby on here too and have a uh, <laughs> an infant <laughs> pot um, with all the really small ones because again I do want to take off some of the ones that are growing on here so that we can plant the stem a little bit lower. All right so I don't always take off growth near the bottom unless you have you know, a big ugly section that you want to get deeper in the soil. So when you do that, you do just want to be as careful as possible. So I'm going to try to grab this low and then just twist it off a little bit. So that one came off really nicely. I'm going to make sure you can kind of see how that came off. Um, I can't see anything in the light, but hopefully you can see it oh, as I'm throwing it on the ground too. Um, so it did come off really nicely. So that should, once the callus is over, grow which is just fine. So I'm going to try to do the same with the rest of the ones going down here. So I just take it on a little tiny twist. It's growing so many down here. All right, that one came off pretty well. Some pretty big ones, so I'm gonna get that one off there. have to let some of these grow oh ah okay so that's interesting so the, the root of one of the smaller ones just popped off with some roots intact so I'm actually gonna plant this next to uh, the stem so we're just gonna see growth in a lot of different ways I think for this one I'm gonna get this big one off there we go so we really do have a lot to work with. On this one. Another. Oh. Pull that. Oh. And one a little bit of room. Okay. So I took off some of the big ones. I think I'm actually going to leave some of these smaller ones because when I cut it here and it starts to regrow, these should look really nice um, around the bottom of the new growth at some point, although they may uh, surpass the one at the top. So since I don't want to kill these tiny little babies that are growing, I'm just going to clip it right above it, right above this 
May take off a few of these and I'll take off this bottom one at least. Just give it a good twist. And it'll probably start to grow another one there. So, yes, this is a nice big one that will no longer be flopping over, <laughs> tipping the bowl. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of other ones that we can now replant. A bunch of little babies. You can fan also. So from that $5.99, you're gonna get a lot out of it. I am gonna replant this as well as this one here too. So we'll have two ugly stems going for a little while until they make new growth. And then the rest of these, I think will look pretty good. So this is what we are starting with. So we do have the ends calloused over on the original plant and then some of the three babies that were taken off. And then we have our little infant growing zone <laughs> right here. And then we have the stems, um, including the main stem in this last pot. Subscribe to learn more with us.